Hi, let me show you a new function I've added to Magic Submitter. First of all, when you click Open Profile button, uh, probably you mentioned already there are two buttons here, Export Selected Profile and Import uh, Profile buttons. Actually, I've extended these functions and uh, now this function exports uh, and imports also all the check marks, all uh, login, passwords, whatever you uh, have set. So actually you can use this function in a, a few ways. Uh, first of all, you can ask your virtual assistant to create a profile for you, create all the accounts, confirm this account, then export this profile and send to you. Then you can easily import this profile to your copy of Magic Submitter. The second use case is uh, you can keep <clears throat> your profile, uh, the same profile in, in a few projects. So actually I've, uh, you can reuse your profiles, bookmarking profiles, whatever. So you create this profile, create all accounts and then export and then you can import this profile to a, a new project. So le actually uh, let me show you how to do that. I've select uh, profile. This is currently open it profile and uh, there are as you see already created uh, accounts for bookmarking and other sites. So I've click export selected profile button, uh, choose a folder where I like to s save this, hit OK. So and uh, this profile is already exported and saved. And now I can uh, add new project to my magic submitter I click add pro, uh, manage projects button click add new button new project save then I select this project and now I can import uh, the profile I have just uh, exported I select this profile it is here I hit open button and in a few seconds I will see that uh, I have this profile here. And now I can open this profile and you will see that all uh, check marks are on the place. Uh, if there was uh, WordPress accounts, whatever, so I can, uh, I will also see uh, that uh, password late also are saved. Actually I can import, I have another profile exported here and if I open it uh, you will see that uh, all the passwords login information is also copied to this profile. This is first function I like to show you today. The second feature I like to show you today is um, uh, how to use Magic Submitter with your own uh, block networks, uh, WordPress block networks, let's say. I will open profile. I have, uh, it's an empty one without created uh, WordPress accounts. Uh, and now uh, here is description of the process how to do that. So first of all you have created uh, the copy of WordPress block service type to have uh, the separate uh, service type for your WordPress block networks. Second, uh, we will create copy of uh, WP3 service type. It's a parent service type for WordPress uh, blocks and we'll move this block to new service type. Then we will add uh, uh, your <coughs> list of your uh, WordPress blocks from your block network to uh, this service uh, type. Then we will create accounts, confirm accounts. Then we will run user-defined command to grab uh, categories. 
and then you will able to submit to your block network okay so let me show you how to do that I go to designer tab uh, click uh, service types button select uh, WordPress block uh, service type and click copy button say yes and I will see uh, the copy of WordPress blocks uh, service type so actually I can edit it and uh, change name say my WordPress blocks whatever most important uh, if you use uh, you make copy of WordPress blocks service type so make sure that uh, it consists still WordPress blocks words so it's needed to for uh, account confirmation process when magic submitter reads email and gets a password for WordPress blocks okay okay I have hit save and you will see if you go to item fields you will see also uh, my WordPress block service type here and already uh, all the fields needed defined uh, and uh, the rest information about link formats uh, whatever is also defined here okay now I will make copy of WP3 uh, service I click uh, I select it and click copy button and uh, rename it my WP3 okay I've copied it and now it's here I click edit and move it to my WordPress blocks service type then when I go to um, my WordPress blocks service type I will see this uh, parent uh, WordPress block uh, service created here. Now I would, uh, uh, will upload uh, WordPress blocks uh, from my WordPress blocks networks. So actually I double click this service, click add child services and then I just paste list of uh, sites I have here is list of sites uh, from my WordPress block network and click hit add okay after that you will see that uh, all these sites added to as child to uh, our parent uh, service I've s uh, now I will create accounts for this sites so I click create account button now I click read the email actually better is to wait but I hope that uh, this confirmation emails already delivered actually I can check by double click and see if password is are set here actually yes for all these sites and now I will run user defined command this uh, operation uh, is uh, uh, grabbing uh, categories from this WordPress site so I just hit this button So actually magic submitter logins to each of these sites and uh, grabs uh, categories. I will refresh. I will see that uh, for 3 d site magic submitter managed to get categories. So actually you will see that all these categories are populated here. 
so that basically it and uh, these sites are ready to submit actually I can retry again with this site to try to get uh, categories if possible Yes, this time Magic Submitter downloaded categories for these sites also. So actually, bas uh, basically, it uh, have to upload your block WordPress-based uh, block network to Magic Submitter. The next uh, feature I've added uh, is ability to import login data and export login data for your sites so actually uh, let's back to your block network and let's say uh, you have already created accounts for your block uh, network and you have uh, already defined login information passwords uh, whatever for these sites so um, what you have to do is uh, just to have um, the file in the following format so actually uh, it should be like this uh, service name then pipe symbol uh, then email pipe symbol login then uh, pipe symbol and password so this is basic format so actually here is a, a, a good example of uh, <coughs> this uh, information so actually I have a site name as you see then pipe then uh, email address, uh, then pipe symbol, then uh, login, then pipe symbol and then password. So actually I've just copy this information, go to Magic Submitter, click import login uh, data, paste uh, my login information, here you click add button, so and you will see that Magic Submitter populated all this uh, information here. And also, you, if you need to, for, to transfer this information, whatever, uh, actually, let's say if you created accounts uh, for uh, bookmarking site, where I have bookmarking size here, and uh, you can uh, click export, login, uh, select all bookmarking site, click export login button, and you will see that Magic Submitter will prepare file like like, uh, like this, and uh, where you will see site names, email, login, and password. So you can uh, transfer this information to your customers, uh, virtual assistants, whatever, and different kind of purposes can be there. And the last case I uh, like to show you. Uh, this was questions. Uh, question was asked uh, a few times. So how to if uh, let's say I have already uh, a few accounts on Multiply.com or different uh, site. Uh, a few accounts there. Let's say uh, I have on uh, block network on Live Journal uh, of. Uh, 100 of live journal accounts of multiply or another one so uh, how to solve this case using magic submitter actually it is also very easy so you have to follow these basic steps so add child sites uh, prepare a list of your uh, login information with password whatever and then use this uh, import uh, function uh, that I shown you so let me show you how to do that uh, I have uh, Excel file prepared for this case so actually uh, here's the following information in this file so I have columns uh, with uh, service names where I put multiply 1, multiply 2, multiple 3 so actually to make uh, every of this account unique so uh, this is important step to have this <coughs> account unique so actually uh, it is easy to do if you have uh, the column of uh, numbers here and then you can use uh, concatenate uh, function 
and uh, concatenate uh, two values multiply.com and uh, your numbers and as a result for each of your uh, values you will have uh, a unique one the, se the next uh, column is email so it is emails for every of these accounts password uh, login and password and uh, this is last column I also used uh, concatenate uh, function to create uh, import uh, data for magic submitter so actually it uh, concatenate uh, service name then pipe then uh, email pipe uh, then login pipe and then password so basically it's uh, may uh, joins together uh, these a few strings and as a result we have uh, <coughs> uh, we ca I can copy this information paste no, not copy it copy so and uh, this is a login information all all, all my multiply accounts and now uh, let's back to magic submitter I will select multiply.com service double click it click L child services select names of all my multiply accounts click copy paste it here hit add button and at the bottom I will see uh, child services of uh, this multiply accounts and now uh, what I have just to do I have to load um, load um, login and passwords and emails uh, so login data for this uh, multiply accounts so actually I hit import login button select uh, this data copy paste it here hit add and as a result you will see that magic submitter populated all this login information uh, to each of this site so in accordance to your uh, file so uh, and uh, after that your multiply block network is ready to s for submission okay so basically it is a uh, new function I've added to magic submitter I uh, hope you will like this function especially I, I am sure that uh, those of you who uh, own block uh, different kind of block networks whatever so they will find this uh, function very good so have a great day and thank you for watching.